Hello YouTube. Today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to go to orbit in Kerbal Space Program. First off, if you want to skip to any particular part in the video, there'll be timestamps in the description. I do have mods, but they're not going to affect the performance of the game, the gameplay in any way. So let's just start a new one right here. Alright, so, uh, we're going to want to go into the vehicle assembly building. We'll start off with the design of the rocket. Uh, we're going to go with the Mark Vaughn command pod, because it's very simple. Um, not much to worry about here. You could go for a probe, but then you have to bring communications and things like that, so we're just going to stick with this. Purple Space Program, you design the rocket from the top to the bottom. So, that's what we're going to be doing here. So, we are grabbing a heat shield for re-entry, so it doesn't burn up. And we'll also be grabbing a parachute. Pop that right on there. Next, we're going to want to put uh, the decoupler on here. What decouplers do is they separate the stages from each other. So that way, it's attached with explosive bolts. They fire, and we're good. Now, uh, for the upper stage, we're going to go very simple with just a small fuel tank here. Let me, let me see where it is. Okay, this one. And uh, an, orbit optimi an orbital maneuvering optimized energy. Right here, the little terrier. You can even in KSP now change the colors and design of them. Especially for the tanks, so why don't we choose something nice looking? Let's call it with the default dark, that looks pretty nice. We're also going to be worrying about electrical, so we can put press X here and that changes your symmetry to two. There we go. Everything with rockets you want it to be symmetrical. Um, if it's just something small, it's not biggest deal, but if you're working with larger things, or lots of small things, it's preferable to be symmetrical. Ooh, that's big. So we grab another staging. So, I already made a sad attempt at that. It went poorly because I forgot to do some things. So we're going to take two fuel tanks here. Swivel engine. The swivel engine is called that because it has gimbal in it, and the nozzle can swivel left, right, forward, backward, you know, any direction to spin the rocket. Alright, so now that we have this, what we're going to do is press Alt to copy this here. We'll set that to the side while we grab a decoupler. This is a radial decoupler. It's the same as the other decoupler I showed you before, except it can do it radially, meaning on the sides. There we go, we want this to be nice and centered. And we check to make sure that's connected. Alright, now we can go to the move tool up here. Grab this and push it down. Push it right down to there. And get it about even, it doesn't have to be perfect. The nice thing about Kerbal Space Program is you can be as perfect as you want or imperfect. It doesn't have to be exact. If you have OCT, this game's going to be a nightmare for you. Um, it's okay that that's near the top. What's going to happen is it'll shove these boosters away better. If it was towards the bottom, you'd have a problem with uh, the booster kind of slamming into the side of it, which is not very nice. So we're going to take the winglets. And if you press X, that brings up symmetry. Can't see the other side, but put that there. Alright, something failed here. Uh, I see. I messed with the symmetry. So, press X again. Check it. Alright, that's good. Now, grab this right here. Which still should be good. Before. Check it. Alright, we're good. Now we some fins on there. Now we check the staging. Uh, that means right here, if it's not attached to anything, that's because it's not attached. 
So we're going to bring the main engine down to the first stage so we have all three firing. Then we ditch the boosters. Uh, the main orbital stage will fire. And then we end the rear shield. Just the heat shield and rear shield. What do we want to do now? We want to configure a asparagus stage. So what we do is we take these uh, fuel ducts. Attach one there, attach one there. Alright, that's good. And for uh, added stability, we use some handy dandy space duct tape, also known as struts. Stick one there. Stick one there. And again, like I said, we want it to be somewhat symmetrical. That's the whole thing with rockets. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to fly if you're not having to uh, fight with the rocket. And it's not He named it Mark 1 Orbit, so we're going to save that in the corner here. Don't forget to do that. And then we can launch and test it. Alright. <clears throat> so we're going to hit T to engage SAS, Stability Assist System. And press Z to bring up the throttle. You can press X to bring it all the way down. But if you want more fine controls, you press Shift. So we'll bring that up to like 75%. Yeah. That might not be enough because it is a little slow getting off the pad, but we'll pick up speed. And once we clear the pad, we can engage the gravity turn by just pressing D a little bit. It's preferable to launch to the right because you're going along with the rotation of the planet if you're not fighting it. Adds a little bit to your efficiency. And we can just let that go. I bet you we can even turn SAS off and run it up stay steady. Because we can put up speed here. Leaning a little bit too much, so I'm just pressing the stability system. We're nearing the end of the stage here. So watch this. Come off. Space bar. Lean into prograde, so that way you won't be handy handy. And this is what I'm talking about with the gimbal. So this can secure you. We are going way too high of an arc here. This is not very efficient. So we're going to push it down just a little bit. You don't want to go extreme or else uh, you get flipped. bring this thing up to at least 70, preferably 100. 70, 70 kilometers is the Harman line where the atmosphere stops. 100 kilometers is just nice and safe. because we're still in the atmosphere, we're going to slow down a little bit. Awesome, so... Bye-bye, KSC. We just coast now. So, let's do that. Press period and comma to engage the physics time warp. And then once we leave the atmosphere, we can do uh, the other time warp here. Still have a lot of fuel. 
let's take this retrograde so we don't leave any space junk. Bring the whole craft into slightly lower orbit. And put it at 60 kilometers. Here we are. Look at Barilap, Barry Apps. This will deorbit eventually. We can right click. Ooh. Where is my. Ah, there we are. Decoupler. Decouple this, and we're actually not in orbit anymore. We're going to come down. Activate this. Uh, let's not ram ourselves into that. Let's go that way a little bit. ton of fuel on this. We could do so many orbital maneuvers. Um, now you might want to just sit back and enjoy what you have achieved. Alright, so once you've enjoyed getting your screenshots and everything. We can go up to Apple Apps here. And drop. We go retrograde here. Alright. Startle up a bit. 199. Alright, there we go. Pressing Z and X to get that down. Alright. Now, right now I'm going to point the rocket prograde, because how your orbit works is on the other side of your orbit, which is where we're going to be coming down, you're going to be the opposite direction. So, turn SAS off, and watch this. So we time warp. See, the rocket is not... it's spinning a little bit slowly. And now, by the time we hit the atmosphere, back here, I'm going to be pointing almost backwards. That could save you. So we're going to keep this engine since there's a lot of fuel in here. Slow ourselves down a lot a bit right here. Alright. We still have a ton of fuel, but who needs it, really? We have tons. We're already good. So we just decouple that. And you can even turn SAS off because the shape of this... Uh, capsule here will naturally bring it into this position. That's why they used it in the Apollo program, because it's very reliable. Now we can uh, let that go. So we get subsonic. So we can deploy the parachute. And we're right around supersonic. So we deploy the chute. Like so. Congratulations, you've completed your very first Orbit and Kerbal Space Program. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you come back for more. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And in the next video, we'll be going to the moon. So, hopefully you enjoy. Goodbye.